This year, for Halloween, we are going to be in Tokyo, which has a massive celebration. So to get in the spirit, we're headed over to the major cosplay districts in the city to go find Halloween costumes and maybe try some little Halloween snacks. All right, let's go. Let's stop and do our favorite store, Donkey. They have like everything ever, so we're gonna see if we can try and find ourselves an Halloween costume. Like, like these? Literally just like that, <laughs> like right off the escalator. <laughs> You'd be warm. <laughs> I was just thinking, I was like, but it's so warm. Hey, Brandy, you're looking like a real catch in that. <laughs> <laughs> Is it cute or no? Shockingly cute. Shockingly cute. We're leaving. There's not a lot of costumes in Yonki that day, so we're going to go check out some cosplay stores. Mostly like waifu pillows. You could be a waifu pillow for Halloween. Oh. <laughs> it could be Goku, and it's only 10,000 yen. I mean, if it comes with everything, that's not terrible. Oh, look, they even have all the colored contacts. What is this? Why would you cover your entire is this to become an anime character? Like, look, it's like a body yeah, shape or something. Yeah, it is, and then, and then... Oh, that's weird. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> oh, what? And they sell, like, the eyes and everything. So it's like a DIY oh, yeah. facial expressions. Anime's cute when it's in 2D. <laughs> yeah, this is, like, right in the uncanny valley. Here you go, Alan. Oh, One Punch Man. That'd be a good one. Except I'm not bald. You're not bald, though. Does it come with a bald head, though? I don't know. Because if, if it comes with a bald cap, it could be pretty good. <laughs> I'm sure you could find a bald cap. Oh, it does come with a bald cap. <laughs> hey, that's a good one to consider. Yeah, yeah let's check a few more it. stores. Okay. Oh, cosplay good. Second floor. Ooh, Naruto. There you go. They have all this stuff listed online and what store it's located in. Really? Mm hmm. Wow. So you could look for your like desired costume and see if they have it. Wow. Oh, and there's there's your list. Oh, but it's all in Japanese. Yeah. So we haven't quite found anything here yet. So we're gonna head over near Shibuya, which is where they kind of celebrate it, and look over there too. So in case you were wondering what this place is called, Nefertano Broadway. We went with the cute kitty, it's very cute. And I thought it was like chocolate something, but if you look on the inside, there's some sort of like red jelly or something. Mm. It's like a thick, delicious chocolate mousse or pudding. And I think a strawberry topping. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. It jiggles. I think that might be raspberry. Is it? It tastes a little too sweet to be raspberry unless they sweetened it extra. Pretty tasty, but I want more. Yeah, we gotta go find more snacks. But first, I think that next costume shop is right around the corner. They're even playing Halloween music. Right I know. Now. They were just playing, um, Nightmare Before Christmas. We'll get copyright, we'll get copyright, 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 claim, claim. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, they have lots of stuff. This is what I'm talking about. Look at all the wigs, too. They're cute ones. Uh, and very affordable for some things like that. Look at that. Look at that. It looks legit too, like it looks good. I know, that's less than $10. So it seems like they have some like never worn stuff. It's a lot more, but then they have like second hand. Really affordable and all the accessories are cheap too. Those are perfect. Only 880 yen. 
Naruto's. Ooh. Oh, what? That looks so legit, too. That's actually pretty expensive, though. Hmm. Yeah, but with everything, they charge you an arm and a leg for that in the States. Oh, yeah. what? Is this a Princess Mononoke? Yeah. It totally is. Oh, that'd be so cool. He's so big, they're having trouble. No. Too small? Yeah, I'm too small. Too small? Okay. <laughs> too small? Uh, Japanese ladies' size. Oh, too small. <laughs> I almost feel like the selection here is better than Akihabara. I know. It's like the same sort of stuff, but without the hustle and bustle or high prices. I think today kind of reminded me that we had a lot of Japan to see still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just when you thought you see it all, you know, you walk into like a five-story shopping mall. It's totally nondescript. It's just so weird. And nobody, nobody ever advertises coming here. <laughs> Are we about to like lose our left kidney? That has a fingerprint scanner. This is a good way to get your Halloween on, just not the way you thought it would be. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Like, this looks so ominous. Office 3. But inside, it's just a normal office. <laughs> oh, look, so there's aliens. <laughs> <laughs> this is so creepy. So they have a whole alien-themed office. I feel like my dad would have loved that. Like, look at that. Oh, there you go. Just when you thought you saw a weird Japan. <laughs> This keeps getting weirder. I know. Okay, we gotta go in here. It's actually 14 stories and has 350 shops, but somehow we only saw a handful of them. I think it was closed. Like uh, the staircase. Wrong was time of day. Yeah. I think they said it was a chocolate devil. I honestly don't really see it, but it is cute. And look at his shape. Mmm. I think it is one of those mochi donuts because it's really chewy. So in Japan, the shaped donut. A lot of the time it has mochi in it, and it makes it super chewy. Yeah, it's really chewy, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not too sweet either. Yeah, the chocolate tastes like real chocolate frosting, not like that junk they put on donuts in the States. <laughs> This neighborhood, Nakano, is actually really cool. There's lots of neat stuff out here. Overall, a semi-successful day of cosplay costume hunting. We got one of two costumes. I personally still need one. Brandy found something today that worked for her. So you're gonna see a change in the time of day, but we're gonna continue this adventure costume hunting adventure. <laughs> Day two of Halloween costume shopping. Yep, we have come to Ikebukuro, which is another big otaku district, similar to Nakano and Akihabara. I think there's other types of costume stores or cosplay stores around here too, but we'll find out. Huge Hello Kitty store. It is very Let's go check cute. it out. Do you think they'll have Hello Kitty costumes? Maybe. This is so cute. I think that was it. Yeah, they don't actually have very much Halloween stuff. Okay, we're having a hard time with the sizing, so we're going to check around to a few other shops. Yeah, Alan is so big compared to most of the people here that it's, it's hard to find stuff that fits. There are a few in here. Mm -hmm. These are more like Halloween looking. Less cosplay. Oh, XXL. They have an Inuyasha. Oh yeah, there you go. That'd be kind of cool. I like how they do their like sales here. You take the card mm. up. 
makes it really easy to understand. Alan, you're way too tall for Japan. Yeah. Slim pickings with that one. <laughs> but I was doing some research last night online and I found this shop that just had like hundreds of costumes. It's a dedicated costume or like cosplay store, I guess. And it's supposed to be in this neighborhood. I just found that out. So I'm pretty excited. Let's go check it out. Closed. And this, this definitely looks like it. I am so depressed. Oh, maybe they moved. I'm gonna read that sign. Relocation and reopening. We have hope yet. Yeah, and they even gave us a map. How nice of them, except it's all in Japanese. <laughs> it's okay, we'll figure it out. Hmm. I opened a new location. They opened like six new locations <laughs> spread across like seven blocks. And we have no idea where the cosplay is. Yeah, they're like totally fragmented. Everything's in Japanese, but we're gonna we're gonna find it. Hey, books. Oh. What? Oh, that's looking hopeful. It is. It is. Okay. Oh. Looking more hopeful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we found it. Oh my god. I think we'll have to bring my mom here. I feel like your mom would love this shop. Yes. And that's so affordable. Wow, look at this. This is dope. These look handmade. Do you think they collect like handmade cosplay or stuff that, like, that they don't use anymore? Yeah, probably. Look at it, it's all... Yeah, people probably make their cosplay stuff and then sell it. Okay, you have to be able to find something here. Oh. This place has some really cool stuff. They're like awesome deals. Like a lot of these are like 60 bucks and they look just like handmade, gorgeous, perfect. It's crazy. And there's so many options. That would be so cool. It's only 369 US dollars. That's not bad for that. Like, look at the detail on that thing. All this costume shopping is making us super hungry. We've been at it for hours. So we're on our way to find a restaurant to eat at right now. Okay, okay. Okay. I'll, I'll taste. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 So that's a crispy fried chicken, right? Citron style fried chicken, right? So yeah. Walk fried chicken, right? Very high temperature. The chicken itself is super crispy. It has a like a sweetness I wasn't expecting. Beef with citron and dried chili peppers on a bed of bean sprouts. Unbelievably delicious. Nice to meet you. Okay, okay. Nice to meet you. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and all for only 2,948 yen for that. It was good, and I loved those guys. They were a blast. Yep, super fun. They were fun. hilarious. We basically worked out an entire conversation with body language. It was great. I don't think they get a lot of tourists out here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so either. <laughs> we both got our costumes. We are going to be random anime characters because that's what we found on sale. Check back for it. Bye.